So Mark, what's the Police and Crime Commissioner's responsibility then in terms of restorative justice? The Police and Crime Plan, which I'm responsible for setting, it's really important to ensure uh, that the right priorities are within that plan and restorative justice is just one of those that is encompassed within the plan. So making sure that all victims are offered um, the access to a restorative uh, justice service uh, is important. Re re restorative solutions were uh, the people that were commissioned to deliver this contract in 2018. Um, we know it isn't right for every victim but making sure through the Victims Code that they are made aware that this service is available at a time that is suitable and convenient to them in helping to uh, address whatever the, um, the, the issues are for them as a victim of crime. And why is RJ so important to you? Well, I think it's really important to listen to, uh, to victims and the experience, uh, experience they've been through. And I know we talked earlier about the very powerful uh, testimonies we heard from a couple of the victims that spoke at our launch event. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the restorative solutions um, service that is now in place uh, is embedded within my police and crime plan and it will be over a three year contract period. But you know, for me it comes back to making sure that uh, we offer whatever solution is right for victims and I'm convinced that the restorative approach in some cases is absolutely something that can uh, provide really positive outcomes. What are the potential benefits of restorative justice? Well, there are benefits for both victims and offenders actually with restorative justice. So for victims it is around understanding why a crime that may have been committed uh, for them to cope and recover in that healing process and for offenders it's around them really understanding the consequences and impact they have had on their victims and I've seen that at first hand and that is really powerful as well and um, it can take place uh, alongside a uh, what we might deem as a traditional criminal justice uh, outcome within the, the system as well so it's, it is something that can be used in addition to uh, normal criminal justice outcomes. I think in terms of messages, I mean again it comes back to making sure that all victims are aware that this service is available um, and, and if it is right for them to, to take that up and that's why I mean the, the contract in place really important to ensure that it's done in a professional and thorough way but then uh, for police officers uh, to really also uh, be aware that this service is there for referrals to be made into uh, when they are talking to victims and making sure they can offer that wider wraparound service through restorative justice that can make a big difference in, in, in some cases for victims and indeed offenders. Okay, thanks Mark. Thanks.